what is it to be a real man? You know, when I look up, you know, when I look up online at all these gurus, all these tips that people are giving, sometimes as a young adult right now, I can understand why a lot of teenagers, young, young kids are growing up confused in this era where we're encouraged to just be in touch with our femininity and leave our masculinity aside. In this era where a lot of fathers are missing in their homes and we kind of have to teach ourselves how to grow up. We gotta go through all these lessons. We have to be our own parent, parent ourselves. I can understand why a lot of us are going up confused and we're doing all of these mistakes. Now, not everyone online is going or has the right experience to let us know what it is to become a real man. So just to help you guys, I brought in my friend who's a father, a husband, a CEO. But like I said, what's more important to me is he's a great friend to me. So no problem, man. And I want to ask you, bro. For you, what is it to be a real man? I've learned recently, you know, what it means to be a real man because I've seen how fragile life is. Uh, whether it was losing my grandmother uh, about a year ago, who was like a mother to me, having a, a daughter and seeing a pregnancy complication with my wife, and then me finding out I had an issue myself uh, required surgery and I just saw that I'm not invincible you know I, I I didn't know how fragile life was until the last 12 months and I think until you see the Grim Reaper until you see you know how quickly your life can be gone you know it's it's sort of hard to realize how precious life is and I think people who have seen these experiences understand it with a level of intensity others don't. Being a real man is being responsible, doing your best. Not so much, you can't control, it's true, you can't control how many days you live, but you can't control your attitude and the quality of your days. Are you making 10 minutes to be with your wife last night? I just wanted to take my wife on a walk for 10 minutes. Me and her. I was so happy. When my daughter can smile at me, I'm happy. Money's great, but do you, are you taking care of your body? You don't really got a problem that money can fix it. Right? It's true. And you understand that when that's the case. So I'm just thankful to be here live you know they you know you can go on instagram and see so many people that have so many things you don't have but, but if you're going to spend one hour doing that i ask you spend one hour looking at people that are deaf blind handicapped in a wheelchair mentally disabled poorer than you shorter than you they have uh, an irritation on their face. They're in pain. People who make less, you know, they, there's people that also have less than you, that wish they had what you had. And that's to be in traffic for an hour. They wish they had that problem. You, you realize that, you realize how fragile life is and getting older really isn't for the pain of heart.